Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. How is everyone doing? How am I manifesting mamacitas and my miracle minded men? So this video is about PMS and how PMS really, really affects me and I know it affects a lot of people and how does someone who is um, spiritually elevated or deeply rooted in God or an empath or a psychic or a healer how do we deal with PMS because for me you know right now guys I don't feel good I don't feel happy I don't feel I don't feel good at all um, and it's really nothing has happened right so um, I know that it's PMS and this month the month of april especially like i started feeling symptoms of pms around april 15th now that means that and i usually get my period between the fourth fourth like fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh like something like that right so from the fourth no yeah from the fourth to like let's say like the tenth or so is when i have my period so that gives me like not even two weeks of being my normal energetic all in self and then i started feeling symptoms of pms around april 15th so i could literally feel a switch so um that kind of scared me a little bit because that meant that uh, until like again may 4th i was going to be dealing with symptoms of pms like no who wants to deal with for me my pms comes in all i want to do is eat sugar okay now i'm really horny okay now i'm just aggravated and mad and i have lots of pent-up anger in me and i don't want to talk to anybody who wants to deal with that for two and a half weeks like nobody right so i'm trying to the most important thing about pms is to identify it and to not accept it as who you are and yes i am not the most delightful person when i'm in a mood or when i'm a pms like i'm just not the best to be around i don't want to talk to anybody i don't want to talk to anybody about anything um and i just want to be by myself i just want to go to outer space like i just don't i don't want to be around anybody so like yesterday um i had a terrible audition like to be the facts are that i did not prepare i got it super late at night i didn't prepare i got it super late at night and it was pretty early in the morning the audition facts are that i did not prepare and i was like you know when you like psych yourself out you're like yes i'm so amazing this is why god brought me here i'm doing it didn't it well yes and then i got into the audition i was like head bet head bet 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 like i fucked up so bad and it was like a 40 minute walk like i took the bus there but it was a 40 minute walk from the casting office to the train station i had to do that 40 minute walk or else i would have just been like fuck this fuck everything like am i even talented what am i doing um you know but also luckily you know god is everywhere and god you know just always wants to make sure that we are okay um i actually knew someone at the casting office so i talked to him a little bit after my audition so that made me feel like a little bit better but i just had a terrible audition i was like i don't want to do anything today so i didn't even like go to work like i didn't go to work after i did not want to communicate with people i didn't want to do anything and these are some of my symptoms of pms and i'm this video is more about me just talking and seeking out your advice and you know usually my channel is all about like me giving advice like as i'm going through the motions of situations in my life but i really need your guidance guys i need your help like what is something that you guys do during pms i'm learning that like i get really aggravated and i get really mad um and i don't work out so maybe i'm thinking okay maybe i could start like jumping rope or something to get the aggression out but PMS just sucks because it's like, it's not me, right? Like, it's a shell of me and it sucks. It sucks. Like, I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to like, and, and another thing my PMS loves to do is have these incessant thoughts about one 
thing. Like I can literally pick out every single month what the PMS um, uh, consistent thought is. Like last month it was about me um, spending money and this month it was about like a particular person and it just kept going on and on and on in my head. And the most important thing about PMS is identifying it, right? So knowing that I was PMSing, I was able to catch those thoughts and be like, nope, that's not real. I'm not attaching to that. I'm not identifying with that. Um, yeah, I just don't feel good at all. And I hate feeling like this because there's nothing wrong in my life, right? Like, I feel I'm happy to be who I am. Um... I'm in such a good place, you know, I have this new apartment, like, but I just don't like feeling bad for no reason, because to me it's immature, right, and to me it's, um, what's the word, to me it's like childish, it's immature, it's like, you're living in a, in a, I guess like you're living in like a false bubble, like, I don't know it's like when you really honestly have no problems or you're having like first world problems it's like shut up you know shut up but I just don't feel good and I did not like that I could feel that switch on April 15th and it's like that kind of scares me because that's a long time to not be feeling 100% and even though, you know, my birthday was on April 18th and I went out April 19th and Fatima and Chesney and OJ came to LA and like we, we hung out and we had like chips and drinks outside on the outside area of my apartment. Like, and then like the next day it was just like shut down. So that sucks. That sucks. Who wants to do that? Who wants to feel like that? So yeah, what are some of your ways of dealing with PMS? I guess it would be to just like go with the flow. But that's just like, I can't. Too, too many days, too many days of me not being me. So yeah, guys, give me some of your advice below. I'd love to hear what do you do. You know, like, and usually I'm not an overindulgent person right like I know how to say no I know how to like um, detach myself from things so if my body wants chocolate I'm gonna give it chocolate you know if my body wants to take a shower like I'm gonna take a nice long shower I'm doing the things that my body wants to do and overindulge in during PMS but those are also temporary so like what can I do so yeah guys give me advice Hello, thank you guys for, this is not your usual Beanie TV video, but I thank you guys for allowing me the space to feel the way I feel, which is not good. So, it's all temporary, and that's it, it's all temporary. I thank you guys for tuning in, and leave comments below, and I'll see you guys next video.